Now all the information from your hand comes up your spinal cord, goes through the globus pallidus, and then it zips up, it arrives into the cortex, and in the cortex there is a representation of each of your fingers, absolutely precise. And the interesting thing now is that we can map this using new technology, functional MRIs, PET scans and other newer technology. You can map exactly on your brain where each finger lives. So a fascinating a lady in 1996, Nancy Bale, who's a professor, a very, very clever woman from, from the States, did a study. And in the study, there were two monkeys, that's all, two owl monkeys, that's their type. And what she did was she taught them, she first mapped their brain and mapped the cortex and showed exactly how the cortex looked, the representation of each finger. Then she taught them a task, and the task, the, what, what's going to drive monkeys and people, there are two things, the one is sex, the other is food. This one was food. So she taught them that if you do a particular little task, you'll get food. And the task was simple, but it required just a couple of little movements. And over a period of time, they became very adept. And they put faster and faster and faster, faster, getting more and more and more food faster and faster and then she left them with this and over a period of weeks which went as they she found in fact that they because they were repeating again and again and again this particular task their functioning hit a peak and then it started getting worse and they became they got worse and worse until they could only do the task at 50% of the rate that they could do it before. When she then mapped their brain, she found that in fact the clear definition between the fingers had become smudged and that one of the fingers, which is called now the compensatory finger, had grown and kind of encroached into the area of the other finger or fingers and it was a gross change so and this is what happens we now recognize is the primary problem in dystonia is that as uh, you go to move this finger this finger message is this finger is uh, the territory of this finger has moved into it so this finger slides over takes over the space and this one gets out and if you're trying to play, play a, a note with this finger, it's this sort of thing happens. And <clears throat> the um, one of the biggest, it was recognized that's a sensory problem, but obviously it's also a motor. So it's a feeling, what kind of message comes from my fingers, and it's a motor problem. And the final definition from a chap called Altenmuller, who's another a German professor, He's called it a cortical, so it's up in the brain, sensory motor, s s feeling, movement, mislearning syndrome. So that's the, the current state of play.